FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emery Hunt, the Zardo Playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich, bringing you a Jacksonville Jaguars 2010 offseason team outlook. Not too many free agents, key free agents on this team. Last year, they drafted two tackles in Evan Britton and the other guy. Defensive side of the ball, they built it up with Derek Harvey and Quentin Groves. They got Derek Cox, who's a free agent, who they played a lot last year. Rasheen Mathis, a lot of people are high on, but it's that secondary that just didn't make enough off um, open field tackles, and they weren't secure enough. They gave up a lot of big plays. So where would you address the Jaguars first and foremost if you if you were their GM? Defensive end. They need a, a pass rusher. Mm -hmm. Quinn Groves is okay, but he's not. And Harvey, you're not so long. Harvey can play when he wants to, but they need to get pass rush. They need a defensive end. They also need a middle linebacker. I think. Yeah, Mike Peterson vacancy last year. He went to Atlanta. Right, it hurts him. And you, the guy they have in the middle now is really an outside linebacker. So they need a good middle line. Durant it was really an outside linebacker. So you look at guys in this draft. You look at Spikes. You know, good middle back. You look at somebody like McLean if he's there at the tenth or eleven pick, whatever they pick. But they need a middle linebacker that can really set the tone of that uh -huh. defense. You know, so I do like the two guys on the outside, Durant and the guy from Georgia Tech that they drafted years back. So I like the off, the outside linebackers. They need a middle backer and they need a safety. So kind of like the Jets where you say you got to build up the middle with that nose tackle, right. middle linebacker, and safety. You think they need to get strong up there. Right, because you look at Reggie I mean, Nelson. They got, they got uh, John Henderson at defensive tackle. Yeah, they need defensive end. Defensive end. Okay, so you're saying defensive end, middle backer, and safety. Safety, because Reggie Nelson is a wait-and-see tackler. You know, so he's going to wait and see first. Then he's going to try to make a tackle. By that time, it's too late. They need a safety back there. There's some there's some talk that Rasheem Mathis may move to safety, but I like Rasheem Mathis as a corner. Ball hawking cornerback that can make plays on the football. They need another cornerback for depth, but they also need to get that safety position. And wide receiver, they need to address because with Torrey Holt's gone, you know, yeah, Sims got... Walker is ready to be the, the guy. They still but need help. They still need help because you look at, you know, Mike Thomas. You, know, you look at Jared Dillard. Uh -huh. you know, two so, guys they drafted last year right. also. But are they really number two? All the guys they drafted last year, they did double. Wide receiver, tackle. Right. So, I, I mean, do you still want to do that two years in a row? It's not going to look Well, good. wide receiver is not a top priority. Yeah, but they yeah do absolutely. Need wide they just absolutely. need consistency on offense. I understand. You know, out the quarterback position. Yep. And they have to really find the identity. I mean, Garrard, you know? from snap to snap, Garrard looks like, wow, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Oops, maybe right. not. You know, so they, the, the O line is going to be solid. I think defensively is where Jacksonville is. When Jacksonville was Jacksonville, it was defense. Defense. Jones. They have to get back to that defensive side of football. I mean, they could they could build on Garrard, Jones, Drew, and Sims Walker, and even Mercedes Lewis, a guy they drafted in the first round that probably hurt them a little bit because you could have got him a little later. He's actually coming on too. Right. So the offensive core could be there. They got the. They were getting old on the offensive line, so they drafted the two young tackles. But you're right. When the Jaguars were good, and Defense was their it bell was their cow. Defense, they, absolutely. That defense needs to get back nasty. And it really changed when they lost Stroud. Because when you had those two D tackles in the middle, yeah, and Henderson right, Stroud, that was right. a terror. You couldn't do anything against Jacksonville. You got to get back to that. Defensive end, linebacker, yeah, safety. They gave up a lot of points. They were in a lot of high scoring right. games there. They couldn't get any stops against the Colts on that Thursday night game. So the young defense can really improve and they can make a little overhaul in there. You And all you need in offense is consistency. They get consistency on offense, yeah. they're fine. I like their offense. Right. Sims Walker, great. I like Gerard. I mean, she, she looks great sometimes. And of course, Jones Drew, he's arguably right up there with Chris Johnson and Adrian Peterson. And I don't know why. I don't know if the and they got good young there. talent at wide receiver. I love those two guys they drafted last year. No, the two little guys. Thomas and they both catch the football. Right? Yeah. That's all you could ask for out of a wide receiver. Yep. So for more, visit youtube.com slash football game plan. Or if you want to read up on some columns, visit football game plan .com.